When you first log into Groovepacker as an admin, the first thing you'll see is the orders list. Depending on your needs, you can limit section access to various users. So for example, if you have a user that only uses the scan impact section, they can be limited to only see that section. Once the orders are imported into Groovepacker from your order manager or directly from Magento or other sources, they'll all be listed in the orders list here. You can click on any of the orders to open them up, see the order information and the items in the order. Notes can be added that will appear when the order is packed. Uh, for example, we can leave a note to the packer to include extra free stickers. We could also request confirmation and have the packer put their confirmation number in if we wanted to. Normally, the user would go to the scan and pack section and they'd scan the barcode on the packing slip to queue up that order and begin packing it. Since I don't have a scanner connected, you can control or command click here on the order number and that will emulate a scan and send the order to the scan and pack section. You can see the note that we added to the order shows up here to prompt the packer and let him know to add extra free stickers. The items that haven't been packed yet are shown on the left and as you scan them they move over to the right so you can see what should be in the box. If you don't have a scanner connected or if you have a damaged barcode that won't scan on a product, rather than having to type it in, you can enable an option where you can click the SKU here and it will emulate a scan of that product. So this is a kit and we could scan it as individual items or it can be scanned as a single kit SKU. We'll click here and scan it as a single SKU. It shows us uh, an image and gives us an, plays an audio file to let us know that we scanned the right item. This next item includes three of the same. So it shows us that there's three more to scan and it gives us a big three when we start. As each one is scanned, it'll deduct this number. And it'll also change how many are shown on the left and on the right. We also have the option of skippable items. This sticker, for example, shouldn't hold up an order if it's out of inventory. So it's been set to be skippable. To skip an item, all you have to do is scan the barcode with the skip code. The default skip code is SKIP. So we can type that in and hit enter just as if it were scanned in. Once that's done, since it's the last item in the order, we'll be prompted for the next order. The orders can be scanned in any order Generally, the labels and pick lists and packing slips are all printed out in a batch, and each packer will have a stack of packing slips that they'll use to prompt the orders that they've picked. If you have access to do so, you can add and remove items from an order. Uh, this is handy, especially if you have uh, remote customer service they can log in and make changes to items in an order based on a customer request. They can add and remove and they can you know, add notes to an order as well. The products list shows all the products that Groovepacker recognizes. You can click on the item name or the image to open up the product and edit it. You can also open and edit products from the scan and pack um, items to be scanned column if you have access rights to do so. You can also edit the majority of these items right from the products list by right clicking in the area and typing the location. You can choose which column headers to uh, display or hide and you can also customize things by dragging the uh, columns around. Uh, we have a feature called product aliasing, which is great when you have different SKUs for the same item in various marketplaces. 
generally what you'll do is start with an import, usually from a CSV, which has your SKUs, barcodes, maybe URLs of the images, and the other data you need for the products. Then when a new product is found, which actually already exists, just with a different SKU, then you can choose that new product and tell it that it's an alias of an existing product. So for example, if this product were in here already, and this product came in new, and didn't have a barcode, we'll just remove the barcode. Now it's removed from the active list and it will show up in the new list. The status is new. So if this product is just another name for the product that was already in the software, we can turn it into an alias of that product. So we'll click on there to open the item. We'll choose to make this an alias of the other product and then we'll find that product from the list of active products. So we see the soap here that we want to alias it to. Select that. And now the SKU from that other product is added to the list of SKUs for this product. And the same barcode will be used for either. And that concludes this Groovepacker demo. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at groovepacker at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.